Well, hello, all of you beautiful Bohoish souls. My name is Cherie, and this is Bohoish Me. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. So I know I've missed quite a few videos over the month of May. I apologize. I just had so much going on and I couldn't, I couldn't get it together. And I know a lot of people have a lot of stuff going on, but I just could not get it together for the life of me. Here I am, I'm back and we're gonna do this thing. Today, Ivy and I are going to hit up our library's book sale. We love this thing because you fill up a bag for $10, yeah. I usually fill two bags. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. So she's on her way now to pick me up and go because we were like, we're not gonna miss this book sale. So hopefully we'll find some really great things. I always do. I'm gonna take you along with us as we hit up this library book sale. I'm so glad that you guys are here today. I hope that you enjoy this video. Let's get started. Got my bags. These are about the size of the paper bags that they give us. So yeah, I've got my two bags and I'm just waiting on her to arrive. She should be here like any moment. I'm so excited. It's like Christmas or my birthday when we go to these things. <laughs> well, we're here and we can't find a parking, a parking spot. So we're only 20 minutes after opening. I could park there if you walk with a limp. Well, I do have five bulging discs and a herniation. <laughs> Can I use that? I don't. So I'm back from the book sale. Put on my t-shirt because I'm going to do a little bit of painting later. Y'all, the video that I took of Ivy and I didn't... <laughs> Apparently I thought I had hit play or record and I didn't. I am a hot mess with this stuff. I do not understand what I don't know anyway, but that's what I came away with over there. I was a little disappointed, um, not in the book sale. I mean, it's always wonderful when we go, but I thought for sure I was gonna walk away with like two, two bags minimum maybe three, and I just barely filled one. But I will say I found two amazing, they had like some tables out front with a bunch of books like for $5. And I did get two massive art books for $5 each. And I'll show all of those to you. Um, and I was looking for books to help our youngest with her library and I only found one that that she wanted so yeah I'm not gonna say it was a bust it wasn't a bust at all um, we had a great time I'm just so disappointed that the video anyway no we had a great time and I got some really good books so I'll show those to you Hello, baby you want some peanuts you want some peanuts is that why you was yelling so much Eat your foods. Hey, yummy. Hey, yummy. All right, so I'm gonna go through some of the books that I got. I'm, I'm real happy. I know I said I was a little bit disappointed, but I'm actually quite happy with what I got. Um, the first two are chonkers. These are the ones that I got for $5 a piece. I got The Story of Painting, Sister Wendy Beckett, The Story of Painting, The Essential Guide to the History of Western Art. I'm so excited. This is a beautiful book, beautiful book. Oh, so pretty. So that's the first $5 book that I got. And then this chonker. 
the world of art. So this is exciting. Ugh. All of the great artists. It's just gonna be so exciting to go through all of this. Oh my gosh, I can barely even pick it up. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. So those are the two that I got for $5 each. So other art books that I got, the rest of these books were all what filled up the paper bag. So I got the whole paper bag for $10. I got this little, well, it's, it's very, very thin. And it's uh, great masterpieces. And they're color plates of all the great masterpieces. And it's a portfolio edition. So there's the piece. And then there's all the background to it. And I'm just... I mean, they can come out and be framed. So beautiful. Isn't that amazing? I was so happy to find this. Then I got, it's the 2007 International Incheon or Incheon Women's Artists. I don't know. All I know is it's a book filled with women's art. I, ooh, there's some that might be a little bit explicit in here, but <laughs> this is great because it has the drawings and it has paintings and it also has like sculpture and everything like that in it. And I just think it's really cool things. I'm kind of hesitant to go this direction because there were a few pictures that were like, a little questionable, but. And then I got image and energy selections from the Haskell collection, which is from um, here in Jacksonville, uh, the Jacksonville M Museum of Modern Art, MoMA. So I was real happy to be able to pick this up. In fact, I think my youngest um, is kind of gonna freak out over this. I might end up having to hand this over. Um, if y'all don't know, my youngest uh, majored in art history. Um, art history is one of her passions and so I think she'll really she'll get a kick out of this I haven't decided if, <laughs> if I'm gonna give it up or not because it, there's a lot of inspiration in here and then I got um, the last book on art that I got was the uh, history of art education which is another thing my daughter might want. I don't know. She may be sick of it because, um, as far as the learning part of everything, but I thought that would be interesting. Ivy found it. I, I overlooked it and she found it. And so she said, I think you might want to go look at that book. And she was right. I did. I like it. So the other books that I got are on the classic range here. So I got the Tanglewood Tales by Nathaniel Hawthorne. So that's gonna be fun. It's just a bunch of little short stories. A rewriting of some of the most famous of the ancient Greek myths, including Theseus and Minotaur and Circe's palace and others. So that's gonna be really interesting. And then I just got this one. I just thought it would be so much fun. I'd always wanted to read it. And it's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> and again, you know how I feel, if you've watched any of my previous videos, how I feel about annotations. And this book is full of annotations. And then I got The Canterbury Tales by Chaucer, which is just a good classic for everyone to have as an addition to their classic library. And then I picked up another Faulkner and I got As I Lay Dying, which is another, it, it's one I've been wanting to get for a while. You know, you think about all these books that you want to get and you can't remember them all. And it's not until something remind you and I came across it today and I was like yes I need that and then I got great modern European short stories I'm all about the short stories love me some short stories the uh, authors are on the back and some of my favorite ones are on here Chekhov and Denison and Joyce and Kafka very very nice to have speaking of Joyce, James Joyce. I got 
a portrait of the artist as a young man, text criticism and notes. I think that should be quite interesting. Boy, howdy, again, there is an awful lot of annotation in this book and I just, I just love that so much. That'll be nice. And then I got Tess of the Dubervilles by Thomas Hardy. Again, very annotated. I just love it. Unless you're like me and enjoy the history within the history. You know, it just, I really like that. I like to read what people thought, you know? And it's like, hmm, do I agree or not? Maybe it makes me think about something. Then I got, I have the complete works of Jane Austen, but it is a massive, massive book. It's like this big, this deep, this thick. I kid you not. Just in case you guys thought I was kidding. <laughs> this is the limited edition combined works uh, or complete works of Jane Austen. Uh, yeah. The pages are thin like Bible pages because there's so many pages. <sighs> That's a huge book and it's really big all the way around. So yeah, sometimes it can be a little cumbersome to pull it out. Um, I have a few um, of her novels that are stand, you know, separate, not in the collection. But I decided, because I wanted to start to read Emma again, and I just can't see myself pulling out that big book <laughs> right now. So I just went ahead and picked up Emma. Edith Wharton is one of my all-time favorite novelists, literally of all time. And I have all of her novels, but I didn't have her short story. Now I do. So I have the selected short stories of Edith Wharton. So that's gonna be a great read. And then Ivy had actually given me a biography of Edith Wharton for Christmas. And so that's gonna be amazing too. The one book I don't have of Edith Wharton because believe it or not, uh, she wrote, she was a writer before she started writing novels. And she wrote a book about architecture and design. Her life was just full of beauty and aesthetics and she wrote about it and I would like to be able to find that if I could. I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to look it up and see. The last book for me was uh, For Whom the Bell Tolls, Ernest Hemingway. I think I read this really, really long time. I think it was when the girls, it was during homeschool, when the girls were really little. I'm glad to have it in my library. And then I got one more book. It was the only one that my youngest wanted, that I found that she wanted, and um, it's The Great Gatsby. Um, I have it. I thought I had given her a copy of one, but she said she didn't think she had it. So I went ahead and I picked it up for her. That was it for my book haul. It wasn't that bad. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased. Now I'm gonna have to find a space for all the books that I just adopted. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I always do. Where there's a will, there's a way. Thank you again so much from the bottom of my heart for joining me today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and comments are always welcomed. If you've been enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. And if you do, don't forget to boop the bell. Remember, it's not where you live, but how you choose to live. Until next time, bye.